Hello, Hamish Patel here from mortgagesonline.co.nz. I uh, just want to give you a quick update about the um, exemptions from the 40% rule, 40% uh, rule from the RBNZ for investor buyers. Uh, the RBNZ have come out uh, last week and just clarified a couple of things, made a couple of little adjustments. Um, what, one of the things is basically around the um, uh, buying off plans, okay, so investors could buy a brand new property off the plans with a 20% deposit very early on at the at the start of the development. Now that doesn't have to be early on, it can be up to even six months after the home is completed. Okay, so that, that makes it um, a lot more attractive for investors to buy uh, new homes. Uh, the other thing is of course if you're building, so if you're subdividing and building, uh, Again, you only need a 20% deposit or 20% uh, equity for a rental property, which is great really. It's, it's perfect timing uh, around the same time as now that we've got the unitary plan, which is bound to make a lot of um, smaller, uh, smaller um, developments happen around Auckland. Uh, so, you know, a lot, of, a lot of clients, a lot of people will be thinking, okay, do I buy an existing home or um, with a 40% deposit or do I just build a brand new rental property uh, with 20%? So it's great great for uh, the supply side of things uh, and it's great timing by the RBNZ and uh, the, the council and the government. Um, second thing I just want to touch on, uh, the other exemption that they've kind of clarified a little bit is um, what happens when you sell a property if you have multiple properties. So if you have, let's say you've got three or four houses, you sell one of them, um, for a second there, a lot, a lot of banks were you know, running around and asking for the portfolio, the rental portfolio to be reduced to 60% uh, before they would release any of the money to you. Um, but now, of course, that's, um, the Reserve Bank has come out and said, look, it doesn't have to be that, um, that you have to reduce the portfolio to necessarily 60%. So basically, selling a home um, from a portfolio is, is exempt from the RBNZ rules, and then it comes down to what the bank uh, prefers. So your bank could possibly say, hey, look, we've got more than 20% equity on the rest of the stuff you've got here, so you can effectively have the rest of the money. So, But it comes down to the bank's own policy and, and, um, and how, how they treat that. So yeah, that, that's really the, the, two, the two things uh, with the exemptions um, that we wanted to clarify. Now also I want to have a quick look at the weekly home loan approvals. Uh, everyone's waiting to see what the impact is of this new rule. Uh, it looks like uh, we are about, um, we're about a hundred million dollars less in approvals uh, as a country across the banks than this time, around this time last year. So there, there is a big impact. We, we can actually see uh, on the graph here um, that uh, definitely the approvals have, have shot down considerably. Um, but it's it's not looking too too bad yet. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Uh, the other thing, of course, is interest rates. What you what what we're finding is interest rates. Um, the negotiable rate, the negotiated rates with the banks haven't really dropped in line with the OCR. So uh, even though the OCR has dropped a couple of times, the bank rates uh, what we're able to negotiate to hasn't followed the same. Um, uh, the same uh, pattern. So we're, we're actually in some cases getting rates that are actually slightly more than they were before the last OCR cut. So that's quite interesting. Um, I think the banks are basically looking at making more money off their existing stock uh, as they're being told to kind of slow down their new lending. Um, yeah, uh, so that, that kind of wraps it up. For more info, look, uh, feel free to ring us 625-4693. Um, or visit our website mortgagesonline.co.nz. Thanks for listening.